It's week four of the NFL, and our focus is on George Pickens. It was a nice line for him a week ago, reaching a century mark and scoring a touchdown. It's the Steelers and the Wizards next on Madden NFL 24. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the banks of the Ohio River and the world-renowned city of Louisville, Kentucky. Today it's week four and we've got what should be a great one here as it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the Wizards of Louisville. Hi again, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Garden, joining you as always. And Charles, you check out this Louisville team. They come in 0-3 and in desperate, desperate need of a win. And as a team, you start to feel a little bit snake bit. They need something good to happen right now so they know it's not just them. They think they have the makings of a good team. Meanwhile, for the visiting Steelers, they were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Wolfman Lewis, yeah, welcome back to the chair, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for stopping by. Here we are, another episode. Set for their first possession here, and it's Kenny Pickett who will lead the way, the second-year man, Charles. Hold on a second, y'all. I like this guy, and the reason I do, he tends to stay on an even keel. Doesn't let too much ruffle. All right. Here we are, another episode of the Louisville Wizards Cupcake Relocation Franchise. If you missed any of the other episodes, they are available on the channel with the playlist. We are ready. The game the way it needs to be this Louisville team gives it, almost won last week. Had a ended up losing 14-6. Had a real good defensive stance against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Like I said, 14-6 was a real good game. If you missed that episode, that's a really interesting game. And play stops here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. They'll what? I didn't call a timeout. Here in this first quarter. Harris going to get it again on second down. And he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. But you look at this defense. It's quite a unit. Number one in the NFL against the Pats. And all the routes to keep an eye out in this one. They've got to find a way to take away the crossing routes. Don't do it. Pick it in trouble, and down he goes. Jonathan Greener running in to pick up the sack. And Charles, part of the reason they lost last week, they didn't have a single sack when they changed that quickly. But did they ever there you have it, folks. The Steelers will have to put it here. They needed to get pressure. So a great defensive stance here for this Louisville Wizards team. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. A 40-yard punt, five yards on the return, and they will take over first and ten. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They'll be led out by their quarterback, highly decorated out of Stanford, Kevin Hogan. And it's funny how we always talk about how analytics are starting to creep into the game. One analytic that's been there for a long time, teams that start 0-3 usually don't make the playoffs. So we know one quarterback today that's determined to end that slide right now. It's not impossible, but this is a must win for him and his team. Intercepted! That was not a play. That was not a good play by Hogan. Like I said, folks, at the beginning of the series, I'm going in not expecting this team to win at least three games. I'm not expecting them to win any games. But that's what you get for a cupcake relocation. We're going to build these guys into, into a uh, dynasty, if you will, into a great franchise. It's a Super Bowl contender. something here 17 yards to go on second down from the midfield stripe they'll look to throw incomplete incomplete nearly intercepted the free safety couldn't quite get his hands around it and it brings up third down now pick it incomplete again for the Steelers We'll punt it again. 
position is facing fourth down. On fourth down, here's Presley Harvin on to punt. Gonna let it go into the end zone for a touchback. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum. Hogan back. running. Make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. That's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing it. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. At the 37 yard line. Now Hogan. Incomplete. And hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. You look at the Steeler defense. They enter play ranked eighth against the run in the NFL. Most of their challenges have come in the passing game because against the run, they've been pretty darn good. He completed it. Hutchinson. The man that got it. A terrific play call. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and ten at the 44-yard line. Hand off here to Ogan Bawale. Down to the 41. Less than a minute to go here in a scoreless first quarter to this point. They go again with Ogan Bawale. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. And on third and five. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's a game of two. Brings up third and five. Now some and delay of game. For the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. Ball start on the offense. Okay, I thought that was a delay of the game there. Up a little bit. And this offense back to needing 10 yards after the false start. Third and 10. Hogan now. Incomplete. a little grabbing, a little hand fighting by any means necessary on third down. He was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. It'll be just an 18-yard punt. And the Steelers will go on offense here first and 10. Pittsburgh offense making their way back out. We've seen both of these offenses still sort of in that figuring things out phase, but I suspect some action on the scoreboard soon as they start out here first and ten. The throw on the quick slant going to be complete, and they're able to get this one across the 35. That ends the first quarter. They're scoreless. We're scoreless. Steeler football here to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. Here's Pickett. He Here's caught it. Johnson with a reception. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That one goes for 30 yards. First down, Steelers. Harris running straight ahead, and he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning it in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Incomplete. Try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. They're giving some different looks here defensively. The only go he's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the Back to pass down. now. The throw incomplete. So incomplete the pass. And the Steelers will have to settle for a field goal here. And he averaged in the league 
somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them. Kick is up. Get the third down and it is good. Place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second. So they're still, wait a minute, penalty flag. Personal foul. Roughing the uh. Uh. Roughing the kicker, and, and the Steelers, that was a roughing the kicker foul. The Back, a now they're handing it off here. He's going to get four out of this as he's down to the 10 yard line. Typically we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety? Coming up and making the big Back to play. pass again now. The throw is caught at the goal line. First and ten. Or first and goal to go, actually. Also has a first down. So the false start will back them up five. False start. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. And they'll try again here first. So here we go. After the false start. Pickett. Back to pass. The throw is caught for the touchdown. George Pickens, his second touchdown on the season. And the Steelers post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Now for the point after. And the kick makes it. Oh, no. Flying in as well. It appears we're going to get another roughing the kicker. Roughing the kicker. Defense. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. So here's Louisville set to take over on offense. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7 0 is the score as they begin with a first down. Throwing to start the drive. Hogan. Gonna throw right side here. Complete. And they work this run up field across the 45. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Looking to throw. Hogan flush to his right. Incomplete. Knocked away. Coverage there, they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Incomplete, knocked away. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, time Fourth and four. And knocked it free. Call it a gain of six on the play. And that's going to bring up the fourth down. Going for it. They'll look to throw again. That was a great play by Hogan. Had all the time he needed to throw the football, and a great catch there. There he is, Coach Bucky Simpson. Coach Bucky Simpson. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Touchdown! Christian Wilkerson, his first touchdown on the year. And the Wizards are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated on the sidelines, right? That's going to be no good, folks. A good throw in the defense, they have no answer for that. No right good. There. We can't expect much from him, folks. Like I said, his overall is not what a, what a normal overall would be. So Hence the cupcake the relocation. Game now as the kickoff comes. And 
it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Steelers ready for their next possession. And not an abundance of time remains on the clock, Charles, but you would think more than enough to try to extend this lead before intermission. And when you're talking about extending the lead, I think you're talking about aiming for the end zone because there is plenty of he time He caught it. For that. First down, Steelers. Is to get three. But in your so the Steelers mind, with the first down. The board right before the half. That's a heck of a dagger and great momentum to carry into the rock and roll. To Back to pass the throw, down. caught. Short one there to Fryerview. Timeout called by the Steelers. The to their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Pick it back to throw. Setting up the flag is there. Do we get holding on the offense? Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Oh, come on. Guys getting aggressive here on the Wizards team. Well, they were that the is the third CEO time that they've been caught for roughing. Two times roughing the kicker and yes, one time roughing the passer there. And it was a screen, right? Instead of going off and chasing the ball downfield, they kept going towards the quarterback and knocked him down way late. First down and goal to goal. And every time. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. It's Najee Harris now on back-to-back -back plays with a catch. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. Dialing up another pass here. Incomplete. to go in this first half. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Back to throw. Pick it. Incomplete again by Pickett. Kick is up and it is good. 10 6 at the half. The Steelers. Three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23 yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they're going to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. This defense is going to have to finish the job. There's still a second half that they have to play. But so far, an absolute total effort. They've disrupted the passing game, stressed the pocket for the quarterback. They forced him into errant throws. Everything they're doing has been... And there goes Hogan down, and that's going to end the half. So there you have it, folks. Here comes Hall. He's going to bring it out. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. And this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their oh, friends from the offense. defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. So they bring out their putter as the drive goes backwards. So he's on to punt it away. 
And he'll try and hurry the kick, gets it away, but it's not looking that great. And not his best effort there, as this one's going to be spotted down just outside of the 40-yard line. So here are the Steelers to take over on offense. They were winners last week, defeating the Raiders, and right now they're in the driver's seat here as they start off first and 10. On the give, this is Harris. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind a line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. From the gun, here's Pickett. Got an open man, it's Pickett's. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. The Steelers send out their punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. Oh, it's a wobbler here. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. So here's Louisville set to take over on offense. And, Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try to get some points. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Now a play fake here on first down. That's complete to Hutchinson. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. It's another first down as they bite off 23 more on that one. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. So left side, it's complete. And they're going to be selling down around the 15-yard line. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three points. Touchdown! Touchdown! With his first career NFL touchdown. And the Wizards have taken the lead here in this third quarter. So that's the rookie's first trip to the end zone, and I think it's safe to say one he'll always remember. Oh, without a doubt. That one is going to be imprinted forever. And nowadays, we're seeing rookies make a greater impact at that position at receiver than ever before. I think mainly because of the sheer volume of footballs that they catch in college. Extra point attempt to come here. It's no good. It has not been his day. That's the second extra point he's missed so far. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And able to break this out all the way to the 38-yard line. Great return. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. You're exactly right about that, partner. And I know that right now the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be everything you need. So despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it, they've got to find some type of a play, multiple plays, that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. And his throw is going to be incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open work behind the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that was something back to the drawing board. Pick it. He's going to throw it again. And that will be incomplete as well. That'd be a little bit of frustration there. Back to 
back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. And the Louisville offense back out now. And they've got the lead here getting late into the third quarter. Uh, the passing game for them, it's been terrific. We've seen that, but the rushing game almost non-existent. And with the lead and trying to finish this game off, they need the running game to come back to life. They need to get spot that way, take some time off the clock, and keep the ball away from their opponents. Off the play fade, Hogan. And, oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game-changer, but it falls incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here. Now, well, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. They bring their punter out there now, standing right on his own five-yard line. Now a fair catch called for and taken here, and that'll set up his guys in great field position. That'll go for only 17 yards on the punt. And the Steeler offense, they're set up nicely as they take over. They run the play fake. Here's Pickett. And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. They bring the safety on the blitz, and he busts through to drop it for an eight-yard loss. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Henry Tohoto brings him down, and that's a play he's going to remember. The first sack of his NFL career. Pickett and the Steelers in need of a big play here. Third and long after the sack. They'll look to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. The fourth and very long coming up here out of field goal range. I don't know that you can go for this. But I know that you want to, right? You know they want to say, hey, let's go for this. We've got the perfect play drawn up. Let's do it. But I wouldn't go for it either. I agree with you totally. You only down one score. Punt it. Let your defense pick you up. So here's Louisville set to take over on offense. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays. But it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from the opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. He was brought down there by Julian Love. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. From the 41, Hogan. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. Back to throw. Hogan. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. So they'll come up first and ten now from the 33. A run with Ogun Bawale, and he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. From the 31, here's a second and eight. It's second and eight. Off play action. Hogan. And oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. This offense so far on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and eight. Looking to throw. Hogan is going to fire one deep, middle of the field. Critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk.
talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. Two minutes remain, and that's our score differential as well. Two points here in the fourth quarter. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. Second and six coming up. Pick it'll look to throw it here. His throw incomplete. There have been quite a few plays in the look back on it. Really with her ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw is made. Where's the catch? And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. It's a loss of 10 on the sack, and it leads to four. It has been a rough afternoon for him trying to get rid of the football. See, that's now five sacks. How'd you like to be the offensive coordinator, the offensive line coach trying to come up with an answer for this pass rush? What blocking assignments do you change? Can guys play a little bit better? And we're seeing the end result on the scoreboard. Long day in the pocket for their quarterback. He's got Pickens complete, and he's going to get out of bounds. First down, so that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Looking to throw here, Pickett. Connecting with Johnson. And they get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. They come up now on second and two. Pick it to throw. Complete to Washington. Oh, what a time for a lapse defensively. That turns this game right on its ear. And now, forget about going fast. They might want to take the air out a little bit and force the defense to use some timeouts. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. Charles, what a big drive late in the fourth quarter to take this lead. And normally you're really excited if your offense has the ball late in the game. But I think this crew is really excited to have their defense go back out there because they haven't surrendered a point in the fourth quarter yet. They've helped make this comeback possible with their defensive play. Now they get a chance to finish this game off. Here comes Hall. He's going to bring it out. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. The situation for him offensively as follows. Down by five, 35 seconds to go. A four straight defeat looming on the horizon, barring a comeback here as they've got it with a first down. Well, they need a touchdown, and here they're saying, we're not going to get it 10 yards at a time. They felt they needed to take a shot there to at least get them across the 50, but that one falls incomplete. He's back to throw. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Well, these corners, I tell you, they've done excellent work all game long. They remind me of guys in the past who just said, hey, throw it out here a hundred times. Nothing good is going to happen. And if you throw it in the wrong place, I'll take it the other way. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Back to throw. going to be knocked away and incomplete. His secondary as a unit, they worked really well together in this one, especially late. A lot of cohesiveness, a lot of communication, and some great athleticism. They're playing so well now, a nickname is sure to follow. They're going to have to name this whole unit soon. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked up by Minka Fitzpatrick. And the Steelers have just about sewn up this football game. Yes, folks, that is his third interception. And I'm going to use one of the most overused phrases in football. He's a ball-hawking safety. I love the way that you called for the shot there. That's perfect, though, because 
There is something to that. Being a safety often allows you freedom to roam around the defense, maybe not a specific assignment. Today, his assignment, find the football, and he's done so quite well. Charles, in these lower scoring games, you know it better than anybody. Uh, points are at such a premium, but taking care of the football is king. They play turnover free from whistle to whistle, and they come through with a victory. Yeah, and that's what won them the game because even doing it that way, being that clean partner, they weren't able to really run away with this game. So that tells us just how important it was to make sure you played mistake-free football. That led to the victory. So for Pittsburgh, they're on a nice early roll as they move to 3-1 and one with a win here. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Louisville, they'll sink now to 0-4. And, and they'll try to turn it around next week as they head to Atlanta for a matchup with the Falcons.